Hey Pisces, thank you so much for coming to your monthly reading. Um, this should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It could be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends on who's watching it and um, who's tuned into the reading. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Um, shuffling up your cards and really meditating on your energy has kind of given me a good insight of what the hell's going on with you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these cards and then I'm going to go over everything. Okay. What's the current, um, energy for love and romance for Pisces, current, um, energy for love and romance for Pisces, Knight of Wands. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Sag or a Gemini. Um, how, what is their partner or person of interest? What's their energy? Pisces person of interest. What's their energy? Okay. King of Swords. Interesting. There is Leo, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Um, how does Pisces feel about this person romantically? How does Pisces feel about their partner or person of interest romantically? Ten of Swords wanted to come up, but then it's the lovers. Beautiful. What's the current situation? What's the current situation between Pisces and their person of interest romantically? Three of Wands. There's a weight here. I don't know what the weight is. I don't know if it's the virus still. I don't know if there's a weight, like there's some type of transformation going on. There's something here about shedding something. I don't know why I'm saying that to you, but that's coming in. What's the best potential outcome here for Pisces and their person of interest romantically? Past life relationship wanted to come up. Best potential outcome here for Pisces and their person of interest romantically. Calling in your soulmate. Keeping an open mind about things. One, one card here, please, for Pisces overall energy romantically let your friends help you okay so this keeps coming out and i'll pull one more because that one's kind of like well, what the hell does that mean one more card here for pisces and their person of interest romantically retreat okay so taurus also got retreat as well okay let's talk pisces and I don't know, I'm just going to tell you what the overall energy is and kind of go from there. First things first, there's something that needs to be let go of. And I know I said this in Taurus's shit, but I mean, sometimes the energy is undeniable, especially when I'm looking at the cards or I'm shuffling the cards. Certain energies are very consistent or persistent. And with you, there was a heavy sense of release. Releasing an ex, releasing um, toxic thoughts or negative attachments. There's something here about release. Like there's something that has to be let go of. And what's happening is, um, whether it's on your side or your person's side, holding on to this person or this energy, and it can even be just an energy of even like being scared, but holding on to that, what's happening is it's creating a level of karma that's unnecessary and it's also creating a level of karma that's not good right because when you hold on to negative attachments you're holding on to that negativity and it tends to fester there's something here that has to be let go of there's something here that has to be released look ten of wands with judgment that's saturn and sag that's about doing the right thing even if it's hard, it's doing the right thing and knowing that when you're doing the right thing, um, even with its challenges, there's still expansion to come, right? And also too, by releasing what's no longer serving you, and this can be for your partner's side as well, it's bringing a level of karma and a level of judgment here that I feel like is a positive. It's, it's changing this negative energy of this four of cups, and now it's giving you the queen of cups. So that's the first thing. The other thing I want to talk about is your relationship as a whole. First of all, I feel like Pisces, this is a big chance, or this is a level of risk here. And I feel like you're trying to be extremely strategic 
and not trying to show all your hands or show all your emotions. And it's interesting because your partner feels the same way. Like it's almost like a game of wits here or back and forth, but it's interesting because your partner feels like you and them are going through the exact same thing. But for whatever the reason is right now, Pisces, it's not enough for you. Like there's something here about the relationship that feels like there's something empty or that there's something missing. And I feel like it has to do with your partner. I'm going to be honest. I feel like your partner is definitely protecting um, a level of their heart here. It's something that's very sacred to them. I don't think that your partner is used to allowing people into a space that is very closed off to them or something that's very sacred and dear. And I'm saying that because I have these two cards here. It's the cave with the heart. And it's interesting because the heart is always usually in the cave. It's in the darkest part where you kind of find yourself. But also, too, these cards go hand in hand. And this has to do with how your partner, um, they're them in the relationship. And my voice just vibrated. So I know what I'm telling you is, is, is right. However, when I look at these cards, this is somebody that isn't used to showing what they have in the dark and what's what's being hidden right now and what's been in a place for a very long time are emotions that have been repressed pertaining to their heart. I also feel like too, though, there's something very special about this union or this commitment. And I feel like you both know that. Like, I feel like that's not something that's not understood here. However, I feel like you coming into this person's life or this person coming into your life, it's created a level of change here. And there is a level of power, I feel like, behind the change. And it's very sacred. And it's interesting because I feel like no one up until this point has had access to this person's quote unquote cave or seen this person for their true self. Or there's something here about seeing them in the darkness. Like there's something here where like the cave is in the center of the heart. And there's a level of compassion and self-understanding that is that is a need to be heard. And I feel like this person is slowly starting to open up and slowly starting to, you know, allow you access to that cave where their heart is. But it is very guarded. I do want to say that, Pisces. Okay. Now that I've babbled for eight minutes, let's hop into the reading. We have the Knight of Wands here. I feel like things are going to be moving quickly, um, very quickly, actually. And I feel like something is obviously, like I said, being left behind here. There's Eight of Cups. You already know that is Pisces. Um, and I feel like with this Eight of Cups here, I think that that's Saturn in Pisces. This is, this is somebody taking what they feel inside very serious, right? And understanding that there's a level of compassion that needs to be here, having a very optimistic view, um, understanding that if they stay stuck in a certain situation, there's a level of self-destruction, even for you, Pisces, I feel like. And I feel like there is something that's being walked away of. There's a fear or a phobia that's being left behind. Um, what's being left behind for Pisces? Eight of Swords reversed. So if something wasn't clear to you about a certain situation or relationship, it's like that 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 level of um, fogginess. I feel like that's dissipating. Um, what is what is Pisces walking towards? What are they walking towards? It's like a new journey. The Ten of Pentacles. Hello, can I come in? It's something stable. It's something that makes you feel good. It's not knowing all the details here, but then leaving that behind, that what if, that, well, I don't know what's going to happen, and really understanding that if that when you leave behind those negative thoughts, those negative connotations, you move into something where now you're getting details pertaining to love, right? Ten of Pentacles, that's Mercury in Virgo, and it's really about conversating um, or having a conversation pertaining to the details. How does this work? What do we do? What does this look like between us? But it's really about taking a level of control here 
with strength with the eight of pentacles and really putting in the work to make things right. There's something here about working hard, eight of pentacles, Virgo, strength, Leo, but it's crazy because you have the wheel of fortune with the 10 of cups. So it's changing your level of happiness. It's going from a place where maybe there was a level of self-sabotage on your partner's end or your end, and it's changing that. And it's coming back to a place where it feels really well, feels, it feels good, right? 10 of, um, 10 of cups, that's Mars and Pisces. That's going with the flow, but it's also being able to change, um, change a place that you're in to feel good, very romantic and goofy. Um, you know, this, this is an energy where there's a, a sense of wanting to please. Also too, there is a sense of sensitivity, I feel like around this month, but a lot of really good things are happening. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles, it's emotional fulfillment as well as physical fulfillment. Um, there was something that happened last month that you were not really willing or your partner wasn't willing to look into or even consider. And it's interesting because not today is reversed. So I feel like whatever hurt was going on, whatever conversation that was being avoided, not feeling enough, um, certain boundaries that were created in order for you guys to stay away from one another, those are all changing now. That's different. It's like these things are being hit head on and that feeling of not feeling like enough or not like you have enough to give this person, that's changing. Like that's changing quickly here. So your person's coming in as the King of Swords. That's big Aquarius or Leo energy. Why is this here with the Magician? Some of you are definitely dealing with a Gemini, Virgo, um, Aries, maybe an Aries cusp. Um, or even Scorpio. Why are you showing me this? With the Seven of Wands. How would Pisces feel about this? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, we just got to take it slow. I think this, I, I, I think that this, again, circles back to the whole cave in the heart thing, right? Sorry, I'm not trying to use these. But... Seven of Wands, that's having a level of protection. The Seven of Wands is Mars and Leo. It's like this person is trying so hard to protect their heart and protect what they really want here. Because I feel like this person, they understand that the moment that they give you access to this cave, it's done. And your potential of hurting them is, is huge. I also feel like, too, this person is very protective. And they demand a sense of loyalty. They don't like to be embarrassed. They don't like to be humiliated. They act with their heart out of a level of ego. Sometimes it's ego tied with actions because there's a great sense of pride. And I feel like this person has actively worked to block this, right? I feel like they've, they've done everything that they, that they can to push you away, but I just feel like it's not working. You know why it's not working, Pisces? Because I think that you've struck a chord inside of them where they can't, it's like, you know, like when you see something, you can't unsee it. Like this person is understanding that even when they try to push you away or even when they try to insinuate like they don't care, that's not the case. And your situation as a whole, when it does come to this person, there's something very special about it. There's something, this is still in, in, um, in the works though, I feel like. It's also uh, pertaining to group or family, working together, building, creativity, um, abundance, strength. Like there's something coming through when it comes to your relationship with this person. And I feel like this relationship is definitely blessed. That's something that's coming in. Um, how you feel again about this person, like about this energy coming up? I mean, Knight of Pentacles, that's Virgo or Gemini. I think for you, you understand things have to be taken slow when it comes to love with this person, but it's also allowing this person to come to conclusions on their own. 
you can't push it with this person. If you try to push with this person, they pull back completely. So it's really giving them enough space to make their decision on their own and then come to you. Okay. We have the lovers as how you feel about them. Obviously you love them. Um, I feel like there is a level of hurt here that does come with this person. Everything is fine. That's Mercury and Gemini. That's, you know, I think what's hard for you, Pisces, is because you're so intuitive, you know a little bit about everything. And I feel like you rely on your intuition to make a lot of decisions. But when it comes to this person, your intuition is saying, hey, they love you, but their actions are showing or their words are showing something different. Like this person may act very detached or ignore like certain questions, right? However, it's interesting because that's not how they really feel. The emperor. I think you view them, how you feel about them is one, you're in love with them, right? Two, I feel like they show this emperor role to you right? This very sturdy, strong, um, again, Aries or Scorpio, they show this very dominant, very masculine energy, but then underneath you see it's not okay with them. There's something here where I feel like there's something coming here. That's a big tower moment. I feel like it's going to hit soon. But I feel like it has to do with somebody not feeling enough. Like not feeling like what's being given is enough here. I don't know why, but one card here for how Pisces feels about their person of interest romantically. Lightning. See, there's something that's changing. Okay? And I picked that up. There's something that's going to be changing very quickly here for the two of you. It's... It's, it's a surprise. There's a big transformation happening that's going to create a level of stability here because we do have power, um, paradise. It's, it's, it's a level of expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, soulmates. It's, it, it's really, um, it's going to enhance, look, the tower with um, the page of cups. There's something here that's coming that's going to give you a sense of... Um, Happiness. It's going to be something very surprising. I feel like that said here, what causes this tower moment for Pisces and this person? What causes this tower moment for Pisces and their person? The Hierophant. But this looked like it wanted to come up in reverse. So how I take this is one or two ways. If it's upright, I take it as somebody making a confession here, expressing things that they've been withholding in order to get back on a good page. Okay. That's the first thing. The other thing that I can see is if the Hierophant is reversed, this is somebody that's taking a very unorthodox way of approaching. It's also to something that's said here that may be out of the norm for this person, right? Because they're coming up with this Aquarius energy. It's something that somebody's not expecting. It's, it, it's, it's, it's a very, like, it's, it's very outside of this person's character to either be overly romantic or overly emotional. There's an expression here, but there is some type of confession that I feel like causes this power moment. And we can find out more about that in the extended. Um, but your current situation, it's the three of wands. So there is a wait here. I feel like you're waiting to see one another. Okay, there's the moon, what's being hidden, the nine of wands, what you've been waiting for. Um, you know, nine of wands, that's, what is that? Moon and Sag. That's one, <laughs> being happy and easygoing, but also knowing that there is a wait. I feel like this is a buildup. I feel like somebody's tired of waiting. Again, it's still waiting, but not really knowing what's coming. However, I feel like it's something feels like everything is going to work out. Like there's a very optimistic, upbeat view on your current situation. One more card here for the current situation. And you may not even be talking to this person, Pisces, but I feel like that's ending. There's a weight that's coming in that's ending. 
It's ending, look, the hangman with the ten of swords. This is ending. What's coming forward is the knight of cups with the eight of wands. Okay, look, the star with the four of wands. This is beautiful. Okay, so let's tie this up since this um, YouTube is already 20 minutes. What's happening is this. There is an ending, I feel like, because of the tower moment here. There is going to be an ending this month to being stuck, being upset. And I feel like what's happening is there's a transformation here. And things begin to move forward quickly. I feel like there's an expression of love. I feel like all the wands that, that you've been waiting for, the three of wands, the nine of wands, all this energy that's been like gearing up like there's something here where you're gearing up to see this person and it's interesting because you have the star with the four of wands it's like you're making movement on something that's unexpected something that you've wanted for a period of time that provides you a level of security and stability i don't know if you physically see this person I feel like there's plans being made to see this person and now it's a waiting game. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so your outcome is let your friends help you and retreat. I feel like your friends are gonna play a key role here for some reason. And I feel like it's to keep you focused this month and not kind of like going crazy. Talk to your friends about what's going on. You know what I mean? Ask them what they feel like you should do. Get a different insight or perspective on what's going on here with this person because it's going to be interesting to see what other people are seeing that maybe you're not. Um, okay. Also, we have retreat here. So that's why I definitely feel like there's something getting together. There's something being worked out or planned out about seeing somebody. And with that being said, Libra, I love you. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Peace.